Hello and welcome to day number 37 of our Travel Trader series. And today we actually had a reason to enter some new trades. So it's getting more exciting. But first of all, we did the exact same thing that we did uh, the last few days. We jumped into the markets, did free trades, made 536 euro. Uh, yes, 536 euro in free trades. So I will post the results later on again as a picture as uh, you are used to. Um, I did one trade in the morning in Germany, made 410 euro and then I went out of the market, wasn't too interested anymore, watched the charts for a little bit. I could have made uh, another trade but the setup was not ideal. That other trade would be highly rewarding but uh, if, my, if I don't have my right setup I just don't trade. I'm very picky about it. Uh, in this case, it would have worked out very, very well, but all the things that I trade are researched very thoroughly, so it has to be exactly the same thing, otherwise I'm not interested. Not saying that you can't make any money if you would have done it or if you would do it uh, differently, but I prefer to be on the safe side. That's why I wait for my perfect trade setups. In this uh, scenario, I lost out a little bit, but overall it makes a lot of money. If you remember our trade euro US dollar we said it's going short I put the chart again in the background so you can see it went sideways overnight and then uh, US market opened there it is boom went further down we already reached our first target of plus 1200 US dollars uh, last time I looked we were around uh, 1300 in the positive and I moved our target it's a short trade so we are making money when the thing goes down and I moved our target away again to uh, plus 2,000 uh, US dollars and I already secured 850 US dollars. So whatever happens, if we would go up again, we would make 850 US dollars anyway. And if we would go further down, we might end up making 2,000, maybe even more. We don't know, but 2,000 would, would be a good trade for three days. Um, if it would happen tomorrow, or we are now two days in the trade, we are already uh, up uh, 1200 something or 1300 um, and that's uh, 650 US dollar per day. That's not a bad trade. So this is how it looks like when everything works out really fine. The last forex trades we did, we had to repair something. So we started to lose some money. We repaired it, made a little bit of money afterwards, several hundred. Uh, dollars euro actually depending on what we traded but eventually our account is always denominated in euros so even if you make singapore dollar or japanese yen it will be converted and whatever we win or lose would be a euro number and uh, here we are now waiting to reach our target our other open trade is natural gas natural gas still going sideways pretty boring but sometimes uh, the best trades will just take some time and then when you start to break out and you make a lot of money with them um, you know good things sometimes take time so uh, we are absolutely or I am absolutely happy with it uh, the trade is supposed to run for several weeks anyway so uh, if we make uh, two three thousand euro with it uh, by March or something I'm absolutely happy with it until then everything is fine currently down to i think minus 260 somewhere between uh, always goes up and down a little bit we were somewhere between minus 300 and uh, i think we were nearly in a positive in the in the morning when it started um, but that's fine we'll get there eventually and if not we can always take the money out again invest in something else and make our money there we had two new trades today the first one is uh, long position in soybeans i believe that soy prices soybean prices actually will go up um, most people i did a little test yesterday when i was talking to my students in a webinar and asked them about okay uh, where does uh, soy bean come from or uh, which are the countries that export it most people thought it would be China, but uh, it's actually Brazil and the United States. They account for, uh, I think, 85, 86% of all the exported soybeans. And uh, they make uh, pretty much most of the market. And uh, 
On the import side, it's a little bit different. So the biggest importers are the European Union, Japan and China. We all know what's going on in China at the moment with that coronavirus. So uh, we still have some issue on the demand side, but everything is fine on the supply side. So that's what um, gave me the opportunity to uh, go into the market and see prices rise. Um, that's at least what I believe over the next uh, few weeks uh, that is likely to happen. Uh, if you research it, there are several reasons for it. So um, it's, as I said before, everything is well researched, well founded on knowledge. And uh, we always have a function of probability and risk and reward. That's why we are making money in the stock market. And that's the same with soybeans. And the other trade is actually sugar. That's a more technical reason. So I think that we might see a small breakout in sugar again. So we went up, we kind of came down, went sideways, and now I wanted to go up again. Uh, it's less secure than the other trades, but uh, it might make us a uh, thousand euro in a few days or something. So uh, we will see if it doesn't work out uh, until, let's say, uh, within a week or within seven days, we will cancel it, get something else and make our money there. I also talked to my students uh, yesterday about the trading for charities. So we will have uh, the day on the 20th of February where we will all trade together and we will find a good course. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments where we will afterwards donate the money that we make on that day. So uh, that's a great thing that I love to do. And uh, we are constantly looking for charities or for good courses where we can help with. And uh, now it's uh, February the 20th and um, looking forward to it and uh, getting more money into our account because the more money we have in our account, the more money we will eventually make. So the more we are able to speed it up until then, the more likely we will see bigger sums uh, going out. Last time we donated $1,000 to uh, Australia, to the Australian Red Cross. And uh, let's see what we can do this time. Yeah, that's pretty much uh, from the market. We have a few more trades uh, coming up on the weekend. We have some more time again. I will teach you a little bit about uh, some indicators if you want to, if you have any special topics that you want me to cover, just let me know in the comments down there. And uh, then I will uh, have a look at it, explain it. And uh, the more knowledge you get, uh, the more able you become making money in the stock market and can live at whatever terms you want to live your life rather than making a living and uh, yeah, waste your time paying the bills because bills are already paid if you're able to do it right. So thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to talk to you again tomorrow and uh, have a great evening. Thank you very much. Goodbye.